AI video is more advanced than ever, but in order to create the most cinematic films, you need to learn how to direct the AI camera and control its movements to tell your stories. I'll show you everything you need to know about directing camera motion in Kling. With this complete prompt guide, we'll learn to create advanced tracking motions, complex camera movements like the crane shot, and even dive underwater. But first, let's start with the basics and learn how to keep the camera perfectly still, which we create by using the keywords fixed lens. It's much easier to create these now in the new Kling version. However, it doesn't work every time. Sometimes there's still a bit of movement added in. If that happens, just try the prompt again. It'll work after a few tries. By the way, for all the examples I'm showing in this guide, I'm using the image to video feature in Kling, where I upload a reference image and then enter a prompt below. I also turned up this creativity and relevance slider a bit, which makes the AI follow my prompts more closely. Next up are basic zoom movements. We can zoom in to get closer to the subject or use the words camera pullback to step back and pull the camera away. Adding keywords like fast, which increases the speed that the camera movements happen at. This is pretty useful because sometimes the movements are too slow for what you need. One of my favorites is the rotating camera around the subject, which is done by prompting for rotating lens. This is essentially the arc shot, where the camera moves in a circle around the character. It's really consistent to create this motion with rotating lens and works for me almost every time. At this point, we could start getting more advanced. Start combining camera movements with character directions now. We'll rotate around her and give her a panicking expression, like she's terrified of something. Pull the camera back and reveal her holding up a weapon to defend herself. You can also pan and tilt the camera up and down. We'll learn much more advanced prompt techniques, but it's good to see how to create the most simple motions with just a few simple words. Another great keyword is FPV, which stands for first person view. It's great for these drone shots where you're flying through a landscape and have a first person view, just like a camera would on a drone. With these basic prompts we've already covered, you're more advanced than most AI video users, but let's learn even more advanced tips so you can become an expert. By the way, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more guides like this. You can be more specific in how you want the camera to move. I told the camera to fly above and give me a bird's eye view of the tree. But we've run into our first major issue, look closely, Towards the end of the video, the colors suddenly shift and become way more vibrant. This is called color saturation. It might look nice, but for a consistent film, you want the color saturation to stay consistent throughout. To do so, we have to tell the AI to keep the color the same with the keywords muted colors, which commands the AI to keep the color more consistent to our original image. We can get really creative with the AI camera now, even asking for it to follow our subjects underwater and the character and scene stay consistent throughout. Now let's talk about the most important tip when it comes to controlling camera movement in your AI videos, which is adding in scene context. This is a simple concept. Along with asking for camera motions, we also introduce a few simple details. For example, the camera zooms in on the woman's eyes, or the camera pulls back to reveal her in a dress. Nothing super impressive yet, but here's why adding in context is super important. Let's say we want the soldier to turn around towards us and raise his weapon. So we use a prompt like this one. He turns around and raises a pistol. The camera zooms in. He does make a slight turn and looks towards us, but then when he raises the weapon, he's still facing away. To fix this, I specifically tell the AI to zoom in on his eyes. By adding in the context of his eyes, the AI now makes the soldier turn around the entire time because it needs to follow the keyword eyes. Think about what your camera is moving towards, what it's showing, instead of just asking for the motion. For example, we can tilt up and look at the city through a glass ceiling. By the way, this was another example where the AI adds in color saturations. You'll see this color change very obviously in the video on the left. In the prompt on the right, I removed the word neon and added in muted colors, and it does a better job of preserving color consistency, although we're missing the aesthetic neon city lights at night. AI isn't perfect yet. We can pan the camera to reveal new parts of our characters. It turns out this woman is actually a cyborg. Or show additional context in the scene. This time we're going overhead to show her standing on a geometric pattern. This is also called a crane shot, where we start at eye level and fly the camera above overhead, like it's being pulled up on a crane. We can also combine multiple camera motions. Here I ask for the camera to pull back and then tilt up to reveal what's in the sky. 
You can add in quite a bit of motion. Just remember though that the farther away you get from the content in the original image, the less consistent the video is. Some other keywords you may find useful include follow for when the subject is turned around and walking away, or the tracking shot where the camera will follow the subject moving around the scene. If you want a prompt guide for how to create lifelike motions in Kling, to go along with these camera motions, go watch this tutorial right here.